Recently I did a big show at the Wilshire Ebel Theater. My wife has a charity called Sangeeta. And it's to save animals, cats and dogs mostly. We can't get a permit for the larger ones. And I got eight comedians, eight comedy acts. One was a trio. And they did it for me for a favor and they all went on and I sweated it out because I was wondering, will everyone show up? And once everyone was backstage, I had a wonderful time. Well, Ron Kenny, much to my amazement, was the hit of the night. And I couldn't help thinking, how do you like that? The Gentile won. I couldn't believe it. Now, you don't know Ron Kenny. But you will. You're going to hear more and more about him. You can hide talent under a bushel. That's an old show business adage. Ron is, it's going to choke me up to say it, he's a very clean comedian. I doubt if he says hell or damn. If he said shit, he would choke on him. He is spotless. When churches want a comedian and synagogues want a comedian, it's Ron Kenny they find. And they are happy and wonderful. And I became more amazed when he wrote a book and he said to me, would you write a blurb about it? And if I tell you how many books show up here, you won't believe it, but there's a lot. Well, I read the book. I thought I'd just read a little, but then I had to read it all the way through. It was a, called The Comedian's Golf Classic. And he wrote about comedians playing golf and preparing for the classic and putting the show together in some of his wilder younger days. And I was proud to write a blurb, which kind of went, and you know, I run on. And it went a little bigger. And it appeared Part of it appeared on the front cover and the rest in the forward. And so I was happy to do that. And I will tell you, if you're looking for talent for your affair, to have someone who will make people laugh and never offend, you need Ron Kim. Good night. God bless you. Be careful driving. You might hit me. And he's open in Las Vegas for Lou Rawls, Melissa Manchester, and Neil Sedaka. Please welcome Ron Kinney. Thank you very much. Some of you guys are in shape. I don't mind that. I just hate the guys that brag about it. My buddies do that. Hey, Ron, I ran five miles today. That's great. I own a car. <laughs> I drove 40 miles with a beer between my legs, all right? <laughs> but I gotta get in shape. My doctor's on me. I took my physical last month. He said my blood pressure was 180 over. Oh my God. <laughs> said my cholesterol level was somewhere between 300 and dearly beloved. <laughs> you are what you eat. Do I look deep fried, you people? <laughs> my doctor told me one thing interesting. He says I have an inner child. I was wondering what this thing was. I'll tell you one thing about it, it doesn't sleep through the night. You gotta get up and feed it at least twice. But... I eat too much. I get free food in Las Vegas. I was there last week. Do this, folks, next time you're in any casino. Go up to a crap table. Pick up the dice, and when you throw them, you go, Yahtzee. Everything stops for a moment. This is the dumbest thing in the world. If this hasn't happened to you, it will happen to you. Your friends and family find out you're going to Las Vegas. Somebody will come up to you and go, oh, you're going to Las Vegas. Here's a dollar better for me. Yeah. <laughs> like you're walking through the casino. Here's Bob's daughter I'll put in this slot machine. Thousand dollar jackpot. No, here's Bob's daughter right over here. Look at <laughs> Nobody is that good a friend. 
I'm in Las Vegas a lot. I was at the MGM last Halloween night. I'm in my room, knock at the door. A little kid was trick-or-treating in the hotel. I gave him a towel, a couple ice trays, and a Bible. And when you give a child a Bible, you feel good about yourself. Old people driving cars, that's scary, that's gotta stop. You know what I'm talking about, old people. In their hundreds. I was in Miami last month, I got passed by a Cadillac, there was nobody in it. There was just these knuckles up on top of the steering wheel. Couple blue hairs coming over the top of this. It was frightening. And I like old people, I'm not knocking old people. My grandpa's still alive, he's 96, I saw him at Christmas. He says to me, Ron, it's a miracle. I get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and God turns the light on for me. And when I'm done, he turns the light off for me. I said, Grandpa, I think you're peeing in the refrigerator. what it sounded like to me. <laughs> Only thing I don't like about Hawaii is getting here. It's not the flight, it's not being able to smoke on that flight. You, you, people see all the smokers in the back <laughs> forming little support groups. <laughs> We're the last minority in this country as smokers, but we stick together, don't we? <laughs> we have our own little secret greeting. We see each other on the street, we all go <laughs> <laughs> been great. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show.